So behind me is what they call the Minagi concept. I can't say Miyagi. He was the guy from Wax On, Wax Off, you know, from the Karate Kid movies. It's Minagi. And this is a concept. It's actually going to be the CX-5. When the CX-5 is rolled out, it will look very similar to this. There will be some very minor changes from the Minagi to the CX-5, which will be the fourth SUV in the Mazda lineup. They also have the CX-7 and the CX-9 and, of course, the Mazda Tribute. But they're also adding new technology to their vehicles called Skyactiv. Now, they told us, and I've done a little research, it's very true that out of a gallon of gas that you only get 30% of the fuel's possibility into engine power. 70% of that is actually lost into heat. So what Mazda is saying is they can do better than that. If they can just up the amount of the fuel energy that they turn into power by 5%, so they get 35%, they'll actually get a much better engine. And that's what the Sky Active is doing. Along with a new engine, they're putting new transmission into their vehicles and getting much better fuel economy out of them. In fact, they're close to 40 miles a gallon. The Mazda 3 is a perfect example of this. It's fairly old technology. When I say old, I mean it's currently available on the street. But by adding the Sky Active into it, what they're doing is upping the fuel economy to around 40 miles a gallon. So the difference is they're using new technologies in old vehicles to actually get a better miles a gallon. Imagine what they can do when they start making new technologies right from scratch with their Sky Sky Active. I bet you in the next few years we're going to see vehicles that can do 50 miles a gallon on upwards. Once gas is over $4 a gallon, it's made such a difference. These car companies are trying to work with what they have to make it much better for the consumer.